My name is Isabella Yankilevich and I am a product manager for Prisma Cloud. And in this video, I will demonstrate a new cloud infrastructure entitlement management capability, graph visualization, which provides security teams a high level overview of all cloud identity permissions and access risks. If you are responsible for identity and access management across public cloud and multi-cloud infrastructure, you will find this feature extremely useful. You can easily identify risky cases like publicly accessible resources or users with direct permissions, permissions granted not through groups, with graph view help. To begin the demonstration, we will look at all permissions across our Google Cloud environment. By looking at the graph view, you can see all connections between identities to resources in Google Cloud and why access is granted. Here is something interesting. We have some storage buckets in Google Cloud that are publicly accessible. Within second, the graph view helped us find this overly permissive access and we can use this data to make informed identity and access management decisions and enforce less privileged access to the bucket. Let's go back and check what else we can find here. When managing permissions in cloud infrastructure, it's always best practice to grant permissions to groups rather than granting permissions to individual users. Here we can use the graph to quickly identify permissions that grant individual user access to resources. With this data, we can start to clean up IAM permissions and migrate from the direct access to group-based access. I want to stress that the graph view doesn't only serve organization with Google Cloud deployments. It also serves any organization with assets spent across AWS, Microsoft Azure and multi-cloud deployments. And now let's take a look into our AWS environment and see who can grant permissions to other users or services. In this case, we will investigate a touch user policy permission. Ideally, only very few users should have the privilege of granting permissions to other identities. For some organizations, it's the central IT team or security team. However, the graph view indicates that several services which are not human users, can grant permission to other users and services. If these non-human identities were compromised, then these permissions allow the adversary to grant additional permissions and move laterally. And if we want to learn a little bit more, we can drill down into the service container and inspect the services with this risky permission. With the new graph visualization in Prisma Cloud, security teams and IAM managers can quickly identify permission risks across AWS, Azure and Google Cloud. I hope you found this helpful and want to thank you for viewing. Goodbye.